back to Sirius TV. We are on day six here in Africa. We're in the blind. We were out this morning and the wind was just swirling. It was, it was terrible. But uh, today we are in a really hot hole. We've been here before. You're going to notice this place if you've watched this on TV before. A lot of stuff coming into it late afternoon because it's really dry and we're in the dark moon so they're going to try to get in here before dark and get out so we hope to intercept maybe a really big impala or uh, possibly a zebra. <laughs> It's always the actor, but dude, I, that release felt good. So I don't know. Did you see it? Could you I, see? It? All right. So, so guys, just so you all see what just happened, we had 15 gold willoughbys down in front of us. The camera was on this tripod, right out the window here. There's a zebra. I've been waiting way too long for a zebra 
And oh my god. Man, I was so close last year. They just don't like to come into water like other animals do. And uh, I bet I bet I've got fifty hours waiting on zero. So I'm glad you left this door open. Oh god. We normally close that door all the way. It's normally a closed oh, door. Unbelievable. I think, go, I think we should go find an arrow. Let's go look. Is that pretty or what? I don't know what it hit inside him. It actually cut one of my tack veins off. Must have gone through a bone of some type. The broad head looks awesome. Yeah, let me pull back up there. <sighs> All right, man. Look at the blood already started right here. All right, well, I don't want to step on it too much of it. The mountain. Yeah. But I would like to get a direction. It is getting dark, but I might want to go call Ryan just to get him headed this way with the trailer. Because he's just right out over there at the gate. <sighs> oh, I see blood down here. What do you think that's? No, uh, that's, that, a, that's, that's, that's dirt, so. I'm sorry, that's dirt. It's, it's just a different color dirt than everything else around here. There's the blood, guys. Oh, it is. No, it's dirt. Oh, it's dirt. You're <laughs> such a butthole. Here, here, here. Hey, Seth. Look straight ahead in the field. I can't see that far. Straight in the field. Straight I can off. see that. <laughs> <laughs> he ended around us. Holy cow. Man, you get nervous when you shoot these big animals and... I hope that's not one just taking a nap out there. I don't think he's taking a nap, <laughs> bud. Or if he is, he's taking a long one. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. See, guys, I can't even begin to tell you what this means to me. There's, just very few things that when you hunt as much as we do that you just get super super stoked about big deer obviously but um a gims buck and a zebra with a bow are just two things that I, I love africa this is my fifth trip and i've never had an opportunity to take one i had one last year but i just blew it i think connor's probably got the footage that he'll probably stick it in here somewhere but i hit that blind window with my stabilizer and um, I was so disappointed I've thought about it for the last year and I knew we were coming back and I was really hoping I would get a chance it looks like he is. Man. What an amazing freaking animal. Oh. I really don't think I want everybody seeing him quite like this. So I think we'll get him cleaned up, get him set up, and we'll get some pictures. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs>